strange temperature shifts, unexplainable wails, and possibly a shadow of a white-veiled lady staring. Number 1. The Balata Drive This famous two-lane street in Kazan City is believed to be the haunted by a white-veiled lady who frequents the site. The tree-lined road adds an eerie feeling, as if something will appear in front of you at any time. It was told that the white-veiled lady is the ghost of a girl who died in a car accident in the area when she lost her way, which is why she has been trying to hitch a ride and find her way home. Other stories indicated that it is the ghost of a young lady who died in the Spanish era. Rumors or not, you better not drive by Balata Drive alone. Number 2. Ozone Disco In March 18, 1996, a fire broke out in this disco in Quezon City. The fire claimed the lives of more than a hundred people. Most of the victims were graduating students from the universities in the city. Due to the faulty club emergency exit, a lot of the partygoers were trapped and died from suffocation and burns. Right now, Ozone Disco is already a closed and abandoned establishment, but there have been numerous reports of strange activity occurring in the vicinity at night, such as faint disco lights, sounds, and silhouettes of clubbers dancing through the late hours. Number 3. Manila Film Center the country's national capital region is not short of destinations that have an added scare factor. The Manila Film Center is infamous for a construction accident that occurred in November 17, 1981 where more than a hundred construction workers fell from the collapsed scaffolding and were buried in cement. It is believed that the construction workers were buried on purpose because a search and rescue procedure, or even just the retrieval of the dead bodies will take a long time and will delay the construction of the building. Some individuals who have visited the building reported wailing sounds and screams of suffering men, believed to be from those buried alive. Number 4. Bahai Napula Just less than two hours from Manila is the Bahai Napula, located in San Ildefonso in the province of Bulacan. It is a house that cannot be missed due to its proximity to the highway. Bahai Napula, or the Red House, got its name from the hue that it exudes, which is as red as blood and rust. The house transports you to a location that you only see in classic horror films. It is considered as one of the tourist destinations in central Luzon for ghost hunters, and its distinct feature cannot go unnoticed. It is believed that this ancestral house was the place where women were held captive during the Japanese era and where they eventually died during their stay. Some gorillas are also tortured and burned here. This is the reason why some visitors believe that the red hue of the house might be the blood that flowed within the vicinity, tainting it forever. Wailing sounds, screams, and temperature shifts, as well as the ghastly feeling of someone looking from behind your back are some of the most commonly shared experiences. Number 5. Balina Grande. Balina Grande is an ancestral house located in the province of Negros Occidental. It was the home of a sugar baron, and it showcases several rooms for his twelve children. It has been maintained until now, serving as a tourist destination and a museum at the same time. What makes it scary is the way the rooms have been preserved, as if someone is still using them until now. There are rooms that have mirrors, and looking at these mirrors will give you a feeling that someone might appear at any time. Number 6. Clark Air Base Hospital Hospitals are known to be generally scary, considering that many people do die here. However, this abandoned hospital in Clark Air Base is noted as one, if not the scariest abandoned hospital in the country. Featured in a National Geographic documentary in 2013, hundreds of stories have been associated with this medical complex because of its history and the spine-tingling vibe that you feel the moment you enter the premises. Visiting this place during the day is already scary enough, imagine the haunting feeling after dusk. Number 7. Diplomat Hotel 
the northern city of Baguio has its own fair share of haunted destinations. The Diplomat Hotel is one of the most publicized scary places in the city of Pines. Known to be infested with ghosts and a hub of supernatural activity, you must prepare yourself for a hair-raising encounter if you dare to visit this abandoned hotel. Number 8. La Perel House Another haunted site in Baguio City is the La Perel House. Built in 1920, the La Perel House was turned over to another owner after the death of the head of the La Perel clan. Prior to the transfer of ownership, the house has been the silent witness to brutal killings, rape, and violence. Just like the Baha'i Napu La, it served as a den for the Japanese forces during the war. The blood-girdling screams and the dreadful stillness cemented the reputation of this house as one of the scariest in the country. Number 9. Teacher's Camp The teacher's camp in Baguio City is still functional until now, serving as the accommodation of choice for teacher training and other corporate engagements. The cottages and rooms here have been reported to be haunted and a lot of horror stories had spread through word of mouth. Footsteps late at night, faint wailing, and unusual shadows have been some of the common things that can be experienced here. If you choose this as a place to stay for the night, I'm not sure if you can have a restful sleep. Number 10. Malinta, Tunnel The historic Corregidor hosts some of the most haunted places in the Philippines. Thanks to its bloody history that stretches through the World War II, some of the places here manage to fill up the spots in the most scariest places in the world. The Malinta Tunnel is one of the eeriest places in the island. Like any other tunnels that can give you an uneasy feeling of being confined, this tunnel is one of the places in the island where lots of soldiers died. Shadows, unexplainable noises, and even sudden draft as well as temperature changes have been reported to manifest here. Number 11. Hospital Ruins of Corregidor We continue our list with another abandoned hospital, this time in Corregidor Island. There are a lot of images available on the internet that can give you the chills just by looking at them, you can just imagine being there yourself. The worn and damaged walls that separate the areas of the hospital will keep your heart racing because you don't have any idea about what is waiting for you on the other side. This has been the refuge of wounded soldiers, many of whom unfortunately perished. There are also added stories in recent history that the ruins have become the quarters of specially trained soldiers. Number 12. Munghit Cave Munghit Cave got its name from the smell of the accumulated bat droppings inside the cave, we leave it to your imagination. Located in the province of Antique in the central Philippines, this is the mildest place if you want a spooky sampler. It is not the easiest cave to do spelunking and exploration, and the scare factor that envelops this cave is that it is densely populated with bats, as well as odd mineral formations. The place can become very uncomfortable especially for those who are not very familiar with the mechanics of cave exploration. The limited light sources can freak you out because of the shadows that can be cast to scare you. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe and click the notification bell for more interesting stuff. If you're generous enough I would appreciate if you would click that like button.